So you've got a bunch of women, but let's quickly talk about Chris O'Dowd. Who's yeah. In this, movie. this guy is like, I mean, the movie ended, all my girlfriends that went with me, they were like, we have a total crush on this guy. Did you see the potential, the crush potential that Chris O'Dowd had in this film? I've had a crush on Chris since I, I saw him in, on the IT crowd. He's hilarious, I yes. Mean, I was such a fan of that show. And uh, unbeknownst to me, he had, he'd been kind of in contact with Judd, or, or somebody had told Judd about him, and so he told our casting director, Allison Jones, who does all of our stuff. And so I was just in this casting session, and in walks Chris O'Dowd. I'm just, I was like, oh, I lost my mind because I'm such a fan. And other people in the room didn't know the IT crowd, so they weren't as familiar with his work. Uh, and then when he came in, he, he, he auditioned with, with a, his, he has a great American accent he does, and it was really good, but it was like, hey, why don't you try it? In your, you know, with your Irish accent, and he just did it normal, you know, the way he normally talks, and everyone fell in love with him. And that was the moment I was like, wow, we've really got something great here, because Christian was just like, who is he? I love him, I love him, and uh, he, such a joy to work with. It must have been interesting for Kristen to have so much say in, in casting the film, in the sense that she got a lot of, I, I think her friends, you know, who are all the, also yeah. actors, who did, and so was that easy for you as a director to have uh, a person with all her buddies on set and therefore they can do the stuff without maybe having to oh, work yeah. on relationships prior to shooting. Yeah, it, make, it makes a big difference uh, um, because they already have a shorthand and they know each other's ins and outs and they know their sensibilities and you know, especially for, for Kristen and Maya to be playing best friends, to have them really be close friends in real life, it just, it just, it just, it allowed us to not have to have a lot of expositional dialogue of like, oh, I've known you since high school right. in the last 20 years. You just see them having fun together and without saying anything, you know, you know they've been friends forever. And that just makes you invest in the, in the, in the film so much, you know, in the audience. And it, for me, it just makes it so much easier because I can just sit there and have fun and just put icing on the cake and say, try this, try that. I heard that you prefer directing women over yes, men. Right. Uh, expound on that, please. Why is that? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I love working with everyone. Yeah. But but I, I, I have a, a real, I, I grew up around a lot of women. A lot of women were my friends growing up. And the funniest people I knew when I was a kid and a teenager and in my, all through life have been women. And so I just, I find there's, there's, there's a real, openness and a real friendliness that I that I get from them and also it, it's fun to help them I, I think women have a hard time sometimes in this business because they're made to do kind of roles that aren't so great or play characters that, that aren't that real and so it's really fun to to help them be honest and, and to, to find do their best in, in a in a film but I didn't have to do much on this because everybody was so good that I could just kind of sit there and like Great, yeah, let's move on, let's do another one. This film rides a really interesting line because you, there's a comedy line and then you guys go beyond it. Mm -hmm. And then there's a serious line and you guys actually play to the end. And so uh, that's a weird tone because that's not really something that you normally, you, it, it's either like all out bald lay, you know, like, yeah. so how do you, how do you direct, like kind of rein all these different tones and then make sure that you're making a film that actually will play mm -hmm. to everything and still not, seem like it's catering to, to Yeah, to an I, well, I mean, to me, I think that's how all comedies should be made because you need to, even if it's an outrageous comedy, it needs to have a strong emotional core because if you don't have that, then you're just doing a parody or you're, you know, those, those are funny. I like those kind right. of movies. But you don't invest emotionally in them, so you're always in danger of the audience kind of going, oh, okay, they're kind of losing interest because they don't, they don't have any, any, anything at stake. And so I find it much easier. It, for me, it's much easier because it's just like, okay, we're naturally, you our guys are acting the way you would, but now you're in a bad situation, so let's just heighten this situation. But always be honest. When, no matter how big they're going, and that's what these, this cast is so great at doing, no matter how big the situation is they're in, they're still reacting honestly. Nobody's ever like, you know, mugging and going crazy because it's all coming out of that something terrible is going on, I'm trying to get through it, I'm trying to pretend it's not happening. And th that's very relatable, I think. Last question, how yeah. much of this is Kristen in the sense that is Annie, a, a, a poor, like now that you know her and you kind of work with her, mm -hmm. and stuff, how much of this character is her or do you feel like she really is talented in the sense that she can create a person that she can just play and, you know, like how, from your experience? Well, she's such a great actress that she can she can create a character, whether it's, whether it's a big over the top character like on SNL or whether it's a character like Annie in this film which is, I mean, there's definitely parts of Kristen in there, but, but Kristen's a much more together person than Annie in the movie. But she's able to draw from her natural energy and natural personality in, to make it honest, to make it real. And so every time she's improving or just coming up with stuff, it, it, it's coming from the real place as if she was that person. So she, I mean, she's so, 
she's such a talented, gifted actress, both for comedy and for drama, because she does she does what you should do, which is there's no separation between the two. Oh.